Computers are electronic devices that functions the way it was designed. Back 15 years ago, year 2007, our current year is 2022. If you're using Core 2 do processor with 4 GB of memory plus an analog hard drive. What I mean is hard drive that has moving parts inside. This is enough to run smoothly your computer with basic applications installed. On our continuous growing technology comes Core i3 and Core i5 that was released on year 2009 to 2010. As by looking on this Core i3 and i5, this should change a lot on speed compared to Core 2 do who processors. But in reality, why still Core i3 and i5 was not a not. After a year comes new generation of Core i7 that until now, some are still using it. On year 2017, another release of processor this time. The Core i9 same with my current processor used. The big question is why still until now and one of users that still suffer deficiency of speed. The very simple answer is, it is not the speed or the best specs of your computer. It always depends on your needs. If you are a heavy user, you also need a computer that can compensate your needs. We need always to analyze on our needs before we react on what we need to do. Example, you're using Core i9 16GB of RAM plus a solid state hard drive, but still you suffer deficiency. If this happens, let's focus first on the basic parts cause there are too many reasons why we suffer deficiency of our speed quality. So you were using your computer for a very high specs game 3 animation games. Now we know that Core i9 16GB RAM plus solid state hard drive can't speed up too much. We are talking here high-end games 3D animations that needs also high-end video card like to force Ritz 3080. As I said earlier, we need first to analyze our needs before making our move to React. Here I will explain some very useful basic steps to speed up your computer. First is, always have a good enough free space on your drive. 30% free space of the total capacity of your hard drive is a not. Why need good free space on our hard drive? The answer is simple. Although this does not affect the processor, or your internet connection. What we are talking here is the virtual memory and paging size that our computers needs. In not space before you are executing something. If RAM become full it gets space on your hard drive for the overflow tasks. If we don't have enough space this will make our computer run very slow. Second is defragmenting your hard drive. Defragmentation keeps a good track on your files when you need it. If your computer has been not defragmented for a long time, the time you give a command to your computer, example clicking on a file to open, it will take too long cause your computer cannot find it immediately. On where is the file source is located? Digital files are not located in one area of the drive it is written in a separate location. Unlike you do a regular defragmentation, this will sort and make all files in your hard drive on there. Very easy to track locations. Third is adding more RAM, random access memory. A fast processor is useless if you have a low and slow RAM. The reason is RAM memory transfers information to other components. If processor is fast and RAM memory is slow, the communication between the processor and the other components will also get very slow. So we need it to be equal to get the speed we want. Good RAM speed to compensate the processor speed. And now this will now run our computer much more efficient. Fourth is updating your drivers. Driver updates can contain information that helps devices communicate better. After a software or operating system update, contain security tweaks, eliminate problems or bugs within the software and include performance enhancements. Fifth is managing startup processes. There are basic star processes that we cannot change. It is the default system files that needs to start before we can use our computer in a better way, but also some of our applications the time we install them. The creator automates it to run and start up for some reasons. It does not mean that we cannot disable it. For other applications other than system files, we can disable them on startup. It will make our computer open quickly better than before. Also, if our computer has limited running applications, it will lesser. The consumption of processor and RAM same on Y. Running on safe mode makes our computer fast than normal computer startup. Last is checking for viruses and spyware. Even if you have the best computer specs out there, this will not give you a good working environment. Same with the computer speed quality. Viruses and spyware can do things that our computer was not designed for it. So the outcome will be undesirable on our side as a user. Viruses and spyware may hug the whole system utilization and consume 80% of the whole computer component's capacity. Having a good antivirus with regular scan is needed for us to eliminate computer viruses. Antivirus is good but better to disable auto scan. Some computer antivirus while scanning it gets too much resources on the system. That's why we may be experience of computer usage unresponsive so better do manual scan. You can scan your computer on the time you are not working or doing something else. Maybe scan on break time so it will not affect your work. 
Also keep a regular update on your antivirus. Not all computer viruses are detected so you need always the latest updates. Maybe on my next video, I will create new video about signature and behavioral based antivirus. Thank you for watching please subscribe on this channel. Your support will give me the motivation to create more educational videos. As always thank you for watching Dream Media.